A warm greetings to one and all. Hi, this is Akshay and welcome back in Naresh IT. Today we are going to discuss about number system. So first of all, number system. Number system means that chapter where you have to play with the numbers. Now, what are numbers? So many number types are there. For example, 0 to 9 digits are there. Now, combination of these digits are going to be form a numbers. For example, if I'm not wrong, whole number, natural number, prime number, odd number, even number, decimal number, so many types of numbers are there. So many types means there are some number systems types. So my dear student, here first of all I am having one questions for you people. Suppose 0 0.69 is there. This is what decimal type of number. Now you have to convert this number into fraction. Fraction means what? The number which is having the formula like P by Q format the number which is having the format p by q format that kind of format is known as fraction so how to represent the 0 0.69 in fraction obviously you would be saying like 69 upon 100 but what if suppose we are having the number 0 0.696969969 up to infinity number of times how to convert this number into fraction this is what a very typical question for us but don't worry today from this video you will learn how to convert such type of numbers into fraction so very first of all let's do this how first of all denote this complete number as x now we are having x is equals to 0 0.696969 up to infinite number of time then we have to multiply this x that means this number in such a way that after getting multiplication of that number we should have after decimal point this number and another number to whom we are going to be make a multiplication after decimal point that numbers should have seen for example just take it this is what just take it this is what x x is equals to 0 0.696969 up to infinite time then i will multiply this x by 100x then what i'll be getting simple 69.696969 up to infinite number of times now here you could see that the after decimal point all numbers after decimal point all numbers are same so my dear student what is it this is what step number one step number one now in step two in step two what you have to do in step two you have to subtract these number from this one so, what I'll be having 100x minus x. This is 100x value like 69.696969 up to infinite number of time. And this is x value is here. What is that? 0 0.6969 up to infinite number of time. If I'm going to take subtraction, I'll get to know that the after decimal part is going to be cancelled over there. So, what value I'll be getting here? This is what 69 I'll be getting and here 100x minus x will be 99x. So can I say x will be equal to, can I say this would be here 69 upon 99, okay. So it's very simple one. All of you are understanding. First, what I have done, I have denoted the number x as 0 0.696969 up to infinite number of time. Then what I have made, I have made this number in such a way that like I have multiplied this x by 100 and made this number such a way that after decimal point this part and after decimal point this part are going to be same. Then I have subtracted this number from this one. So I will be getting here 99x and here after decimal points parts are going to be cancelled. And finally, I got the answer of x which is equals to 69 upon 99. If you will be checking on calculator, like 69 upon 99, you will be getting answer like 0 0.696969. Check if you don't trust on me. My dear students, so this is what a simple way for a number system. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching this video under Nareshanti. Thank you so much.